Retro Reviews here with the top 10 video game soundtracks. Connect Star Wars. Uh huh, this my ship. Okay, what the f is this doing in here? I don't even know why this is on here. Well, the soundtrack itself might have been ripped straight off of the modern music charts, but you can't deny how clever and funny the reproduced songs were for the galactic dance-off section for this game, including Hologram Girl instead of Holoback Girl, Princess in a Battle instead of Genie in a Bottle, and Han Solo instead of Riding Solo. Word was there was going to be a DLC pack to this game, with more songs including Gungan Style instead of Gangan Style, and Bohemian Galaxy instead of Rhapsody. They... They both sound awful. Deus Ex Invisible War Although Free Dominiquez sounds like a protest movement, she's actually the lead singer in an industrial rock band called Kidney Thieves, who have their music plastered all over the game in the form of NG Resonance. In fact, Free herself even provided the voiceover for NG when Alex talks to the holograms, and later on NG herself. And whilst the normal Deus Ex 2 music isn't that memorable, the Kidney Thieves music, and in particular the song Taxi Cab Messiah, is. Def Jams Fight for New York Possibly one of the most funniest and blatantly not serious fighting games out there is this title in the Def Jam series, where once again, we see the likes of Method Man, Buster Rhymes, and of course, the Snoopy Dio Double Jizzle, having it out in a No Holds Bar Fight Club style showdown. With some proper gangster shit from artists such as CNN and Freeway, Def Jam's soundtrack is most likely going to appear on most people's playlists at some point after playing this one. Seven. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Aside the pleasure of getting Fusru Dard most of the time we listen to the main theme song when on YouTube, you have to admit that the soundtrack to Skyrim is almost out of this world. With a completely new language to contend with, and varied bard songs, each with their own stories and meaning, the Skyrim soundtrack is indeed one to be remembered when considering gaming music. Though, personally, I prefer the Game of Poop song about women who cook steak. Tempest! So Tempest is probably one of the only games worth playing on the Atari Jaguar, and is so full of colours and techno vibes that it's like being on a crack acid binge just playing the game normally. And I'm talking about those pleasant crack acid binges, where you see sounds and feel lights, and not one of those unpleasant crack acid binges, where you see sounds and feel like you're gonna die. I'm not condoning crack acid binges, by the way. Fallout New Vegas So why did I choose this over Fallout 3? Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin is why, but in all seriousness, New Vegas captures the typical household music that was present during the late 1940s and early 50s, better than Fallout 3 did, with the exception of Roy Brown. He was the nuts. But you only have to walk down the Vegas Strip in this game to hear a catchy tune coming out from one of the main establishments, and then the next thing you know, you're doing the Charleston. Or perhaps, yeah, I was just doing the Charleston. I never actually did the Charleston. Halo 2! Halo 2 wasn't bad, but it was a letdown compared to Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 3. But, two great things came out of this game, and that was the multiplayer mode, to which I spent a lot of time on, and the soundtrack, to which Halo 2 can easily claim the title of Best Halo Soundtrack. The track entitled The Last Spartan really did gear us up for an all-out Covenant bashing sesh, and although we were never really given this all-out Covenant bashing sesh, we did feel the vibe when hearing the Halo 2 soundtrack overall. It was those three words to save my life. Need for Speed Underground This one is like the Death Jam soundtrack I mentioned earlier, but with way more crunk in it. 
Almost every song that is featured in this game can be enjoyed by most, and especially those who just want to cruise by some hoes in a pimped out car with neon lights and hydraulic shit. A bit of rap, and a bit of rock, a bit for everyone. Except gospel. And opera. And also... Oh sorry, I didn't realise I was finished on that last one. Sorry everyone, my computer's taking over. Well, here's number two anyway. DOOM! The original soundtrack for Doom was kick mother loving ass. What could be better than dicking on some demons and shit to music such as this? Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Yes. Zelda's first quest in 3D wins the title of best soundtrack, with some really memorable music pieces that we all got to play on our ocarinas. But what stood out more for me in this game was that each song had its own meaning. Basically, every time you hear some background music, it's not just some background music, and in fact it's either someone's powerful spell, or an enchantment, or something, but basically it's there for a reason. And that's the end of that one, but if you can cast powerful spells, then f**k off back to Harry Potter, but not before liking and subscribing to my channel, and don't forget to check out all of the previous True Review episodes. But until next time, be nice to one another, that's an order, okay? And I'll know if you haven't been doing so.